like Tyler, it's your boy, Tyler. Okay. I see an icon, a showstopper. But they're not gonna believe me because I'm just a Julia. I just wanna tell them if I know wife and a daughter. All right, y'all, it's your boy, Trey, man. Today, we got a tier list, man. We're going to be ranking every diss track in this Drake and Kendrick beef. It, Man, think about it, y'all. Think about how many diss tracks we really got from this beef, man. Like, we had so many. We, I mean, of course, the one that started it all was like that. You could even count first-person shooter, maybe. And then you get seven minute drill, push ups, tailor made freestyle, champagne moments, euphoria, 616 in LA, family matters, meet the grams, not like us, and um, the heart part six flop. Um, and for this tier list, we're going to be including the BBL, Jesse. <laughs> the metro booming made yo metro like on push-ups drake was drake said metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums this dude metro literally made a beat he, he even got drake talking about you talking about my ass like bro this it's man it's actually crazy but um as you see we got perfect amazing great good mid bad deleted please so to start off I, in this order right we got right now we got like that first off of we don't trust you by metro boom and future man so man we're just counting the verse from kendrick too that verse man <laughs> he said f the big three it's just big me <laughs> man that this is gonna go down as one of the kendrick's like that verse is gonna go down as one of the most iconic verses of all time just because of what happened after it like bro you just get a full rap beef the biggest ever honestly i think this is definitely the biggest rap beef of my time for sure of my time but i have to put like i have to put like that in amazing i'm gonna put it in amazing i have to put like that in amazing like i think it goes in amazing and it belongs there it was so good like it was really good for sure like kendrick he, he set the standard high because when i first got push-ups i'm like this isn't even better than than like that verse but you know it, it is what it is but yeah we're gonna put like that in amazing kendrick's verse off like that next up we got seven minute drill so before i made this video i was like I'm gonna definitely have to put seven minute drill and delete it, please. But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it there. Seven minute drill to me was so fire. You literally see what I liked about it the most was you got J. Cole coming at Kendrick just musically. You ain't got nothing personal going on. Like you didn't say anything personal about Kendrick. You just kept it strictly music. Would he have one hard verse every 30 months or something? Like you got J. Cole literally writing and thinking of what he could say to not make it personal which was amazing bro but we're gonna have to put seven minute drilling good everybody said it messed up it messed him up because like he apologized but for me i thought it was still fire and i respected him apologizing from the beginning and i'm really glad j cole apologized because i mean not even just apologize just got out of it all together because who knows what who knows what would be happening right now if J. Cole was still in the beef? You know? Like, it's really interesting, man. Like, maybe we got a Drake and J. Cole diss track against Kendrick, which would have been so crazy. I'm And I'm also surprised they didn't do that from the jump. Like, when 7 Minute Drill came out, it's interesting, man, that they they were just going to attack him from separate songs. So, like, man, that that's crazy. But next up, we got push-ups, man. When push-ups came out, I'm like, yo, this is so fire. But you had a you had a lot of things going on. Like you had him dissing Metro on there, future, the weekend, man, Rick Ross. Like you you had him, you had him saying you had Drake on here saying a lot of stuff. Or line of the year, Metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums, Nick. Like that was line of the year for me for a while. I definitely have to put push-ups in great 
because push-ups when drake dropped that everyone's like yo kendrick you're on the clock drake is winning now even when j cole dropped seven minute drill i was like j cole's winning because anything you dropped out there like that you will be winning because kendrick didn't make a full length diss track you know we'll get into that later but no matter which one of them like when seven minute drill dropped i'm like j cole's in the lead push up drop drake is in the lead because kendrick hasn't made a direct diss track towards either one of them you know but now not counting j cole because he apologized he's out of it but you got push-ups man and after you get push-ups you get taylor made freestyle and man taylor made freestyle drake's part was beautiful like you had him rapping at a fantastic level the beat was amazing not even not just we're gonna exclude the ai tupac and snoop dogg and just talk about drake drake was in his bag on taylor may freestyle i wish this could have came out because man i really enjoyed it man he said nah you ain't letting it die down this time you gonna follow through this time kendrick did follow through drake got what he asked for on taylor may freestyle he said nah we ain't letting it slide this time we ain't letting it die down you following it through I, that's the one bar i remember um taylor may freestyle we're gonna put it in good we're gonna put it in front of seven minute seven minute drill champagne moments delete it please rick ross i don't know how you did this bro it it was a nice gesture but rick ross you didn't need to make this this isn't your beef you should have did what j cole did <laughs> apologize now nah, but like i didn't like it well it was a solid track I, I would say it was solid but he just got too corny for me like you got this dude just trying to get some more money doing all these publicity stunts man and i mean he probably made a lot of money actually since we're on here real quick let's look how many views his music video to um champagne moments got let's see think 5.8 million views in two weeks the um the audio has 2.6 mil so i mean R ross got a little bit of money in that, on that man Sh shout out ross for um just throwing himself into the beef man <laughs> nobody else did that but him but um so this is interesting so you get champagne moments i mean kendrick still ain't dropped like a week or two after that and you're just like will kendrick even respond was push-ups nah you got somebody like me thinking was push-ups even that good for kendrick to reply because remember i have push-ups under like that because i thought like that was a phenomenal verse like kendrick did his little double entendre what did he say on taylor may drake said you better give me a quintuple entendre <laughs> he ended up doing that maybe but like it was just really interesting because Kendrick didn't reply for a while. But at the same time, it took Drake almost a month to reply. And they took Kendrick like three weeks and a half, I guess. I mean, about the same time. So it don't really matter. So finally, we get Euphoria on a random Monday morning. No, no, a random Tuesday morning. You get Euphoria. I remember because I was at work and I was so mad because I'm like, Kendrick why did you have to drop this while i'm like i just got to work i couldn't even like make time to do it and be late to work i just got to work and i'm just like bro this is some bs i was like man then you just when you listen to euphoria you're just like oh yeah we 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 got something going on like man euphoria is an amazing response to push-ups like you got kendrick talking his stuff on there just talking his stuff like it was it was beautiful just the layout of this track um two beat switches all together and it just left me like wow we really have a good battle if drake can drop another track close to push-ups you know because push-ups was push-ups was great but i'm gonna have to put euphoria and amazing as well because man you just got so many different things from kendrick on there like he said, have you ever played? Okay, let's play. Like, man, you, you got a lot from him on there. And he mentioned Drake's kid on there at the end. He said, you don't know nothing about that, like raising a kid. And that really led to the beat. I don't know if Drake even had this already recorded. Like, I don't know if Family Matters was recorded 
before or after euphoria like it's it's really interesting to, like these it makes you think this beef was like like planned out or something the way they these two were going at it like it was crazy because like, at the beginning of family matter he said you mentioned my seed like man it's it's interesting it's really interesting the way this beef laid out i don't know why i'm blanking a little bit <laughs> i'm blanking a little bit on euphoria this is funny oh, let me look, let me look at this real quick Okay, because Euphoria. Yeah, Kendry went off. He said, my favorite bar from Euphoria was, you can make a nigga bring Puff back. Because Puff slapped Drake back then. He said, let me see if Chubbs really crashed him. So, man, this this is funny, man. So, I don't. I, for, I forgot when six sixteen in LA is. That's next. So we put Euphoria and Amazing. This is our bracket so far. Like that and Euphoria and Amazing. Push ups at great. Taylor made freestyle and seven minute drill at good. And deleted please. <laughs> Champagne moments by Rick Ross. But when you get six sixteen in LA, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think sixteen six sixteen in LA is my favorite diss track. I just love the beat. Just the the flow of Kendrick. He said, you can't two C slide out of this one. He said, he said, he said, even act looking compromise. He said, somebody lying. Like, man. <sighs> it was a, it was, it was amazing just because he dropped it back to back on Drake and Euphoria. He said, back to back. I like that record. I'm going to get back to that after the record. See, I think I was, bro. I knew he was dropping back to back when he said that, because I'm like, it don't make sense to say that if you don't stand on it. So he dropped 616 in LA and this is great. I'm going to put this in a great category. I feel like this belongs in great behind pushups because this is a shorter track, a shorter um, cut, but it was perfect for the moment. What Kendrick did with that, dropping it back to back like that. And standing on what he said in euphoria saying man where you at drake and then a few days later man we got the biggest biggest night of the beef man i believe this was um this was friday night we got the biggest the biggest day of the beef basically man you get drake so um not even surprised academics announced it that drake's coming and then he drops family matters man I instantly hop, get, I hop, and I'm at work. Well, I'm not working though. I'm just there editing videos, watching the NBA playoffs. I hop out my chair. I go to the coffee shop, close the doors, make my reaction. And I'm just like, you get, you get the beginning of this track. You're just like, day free. <laughs> Don't make it day free. Drake did phenomenal. I instantly, when this dropped, I'm looking at the Twitter comments. They like, can they like, Kendrick can't win. It's over. Drake won. Drake won. Like when Family Matters drops, you got the whole Twitter talking about Drake won. I even got dudes texting me, Drake won. It's over. Like you got, I mean, Drake obviously went into, he went into Future, Rick Ross again. Um, then at the end of the track, which I thought he should have cut out the middle of it, the drill beat, he should have cut that out. It was too long of a diss track for Drake. You should have cut that out and just left the beginning and the end. And you should have just came at Kendrick, bro. I don't know why Drake still felt like he had to go at other people on this, man. But it was still a fire, phenomenal track. You, <laughs> Drake, at the end of the track, say, you put your hands on your girl. They call it self-defense. When you put your hands on your girl, is it self-defense because she bigger than you? Y'all, do y'all know? Do y'all know how crazy that bar is? Like, just the way he tied that together. Him, like, Drake loves calling Kendrick a midget. I don't know if y'all know this, bro, but Drake loves calling Kendrick a midget, and it's it's actually hilarious too, man. But man, he said, "Why did you new move to New York? Is it because you live in that bachelor life? Like, just attacking Kendrick? Like, we wanted to see in this rap beef, just attacking him." I mean, not to this personal level that they both did, you know, but just, man, just, just attacking them, bro. And it was like, man, is this over? 
then bro this is like 30 minutes 30 or 45 minutes later i'm done making my video i'm uploading it i'm looking on youtube then i hop on twitter they like bro kendrick just dropped meet the grams but before we get into that family matters for me family matters is gonna go into amazing as well i think it's also amazing <sighs> man this is where we get to it man family ma uh, meet, meet the grams man i'm like i gotta make this video i need to make this video like it's man, it, man i need to make this video so i hop with my two co-workers we listen to this we're like Yo, this sounds so not even not demonic's not the word. Not demonic, but like just so dark and just ang not angry, but just hate. Just so dark and so much hatred, you know? Like it It was such a crazy first listen because I'm just listening to this. And you get those in the middle of the song, you get those parts where he's like, he's a dead beat. Oh, he should never say more life then you get the end of the track where he like you lie like we said drake lied about so many things but just the perspective you get from the adonis to drake's mom to drake's dad into the to the fake daughter basically i y'all gonna i'm gonna let y'all know my theory at the end but if the daughter part is false for me, it doesn't take points away from this diss track because it's still so much deeper than just the daughter part. You know, he's attacking Drake's, who Drake is, the person he is, the father he is, the son, like the person, man. Like Kendrick just attacked so many, so many things about Drake. Like it's, and it was crazy. And just if that daughter thing is true or false, cause we don't know. I feel like Drake playing games, but we don't know if the daughter think it's true or false. But if like it doesn't matter to me, this is still perfect. Like this is going, this is going into perfect. Do y'all know how crazy this was when it came out? I was like, man, that was it. Like when he dropped that, Twitter went right back to saying, nah, Kendrick won. That was the that was the knockout. And then the next day i kid you not the next day i'm at work again y'all y'all work i work a lot sometimes but i'm at work again i look on inst i look on youtube they not like us they not like us <laughs> you i see it they not like us another drake diss track by kendrick so i'm going to twitter and they like yo kendrick just made a hit literally destroyed drake everybody said and y'all Y'all going, some of y'all might not like this, but this is also going into perfect because Ken, what Kendrick did on this track was show that he can rap and make a hit, a dancing song. Let me hear you say, oh, V ho. Oh, V ho. That's that. This way. <laughs> Yo, what Kendrick did on that track was crazy. I mean, I'm not going to get into all of um, certified, lover boy, certified, pedophile. Like, like it was this is a fire diss track. I don't care what anybody says. This is a fire diss track. Kendrick did what people said he couldn't do. And the crazy part is this broke the record for the most streams ever for a rap song in a day. Like, think about that. Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, man. And it got like 20 million views in one day on YouTube. Like, man, Kend Kendrick did that, man. Like, not like us. Dropping Meet the Grams and Not Like Us back to back. That wanted him to beef. That one on the beef. It might not be over. It sounds like it's not over, but dropping this back to back, it's going to be hard for Drake to get back in the league. Then a few days later, man, Drake drops the heart part six. And this is mid. Like, it's mid to bad to me. It's mid right now, though, because I'm, I'm going to tell you all the real. I'm going to tell you all some right now. The heart part six sounds like this is the first time Drake has written for himself in years. It was holes in the writing. You're just like, is Drake finally writing for himself? Because this is crazy. The holes in this track, like he's addressing stuff that Kendrick never said on a diss track. 
you see this is Drake hopping on Twitter, reading the reading what people are saying and just making a track based off of that, I feel like. And I feel like when he said we fed him the bait and stuff, oh my god, that doesn't sound like it sounds like he's when he's rapping that, it sounds like he's lying. That's what I said. I think like, like this is crazy, bro. Like, I felt like this track was a fail. I don't think Drake should have dropped this track. He would have been better off alone, waiting a few, waiting a few weeks or something, man. I don't know. Because <sighs> this was a fail. And I think this ultimately, if this beef is over, the hard part six is what really locked lost Drake this beef as well. He could have kept that to himself, man. We're gonna put that in, in the mid section. Baby Hill, Tris, hey. So <laughs> Metro Boomin made this. BBL Drizzy B, we're gonna put that in great. It's great. Like Metro, you did your thing, Metro, because what Drake say? Drake said, make some drums and you did it. We got people from all over the world dissing Drake, and this is crazy. You got people from all over the world dissing Drake. But um Yeah, y'all. This is the tier list, man. And perfect. We got Meet the Grams and Not Like Us. Not like us is in front of Meet the Grams. Then and amazing we got euphoria family matters didn't like that then in great and great we got push-ups six six sixteen in la bbo drizzy and good we got taylor may freestyle and seven minute drill in mid we got the heart part six and, and deleted please we got champagne moments by rick ross man but y'all this beef has brought us some of the man this beef has brought us some phenomenal diss tracks like and just it revived the hip-hop community right now i feel like man like i feel like a lot of people feel like this just revived it a lot like you are seeing numbers like never before right now and it, from drake and kendrick and it, it, it's crazy and we i love to see this this was the biggest rap beef of my time right now and i'm happy man like i hope nobody gets hurt I pray that nobody gets hurt from this. Like, I just hope it just stay rap. I hope it just stay rap for real, for real. But let me know what y'all think about my tier list down below. Let me know how y'all would make this tier list. And man, y'all hit that like and sub button. Let me know who you think went in the rap beef. Let me know how you would rank these songs just from one through however many it is. Y'all hit that like and sub button. I'm gonna see y'all next video.